what is going on? Everyone who is watching this video, Jay himself, bringing you some Madden Ultimate Team. We got a special game for you. If you watch Madden, I've streamed it all. I happened to catch Slump City TV in a head-to-head -head in Mutt. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, all right, I need to take this game serious. And there's two things I know about this game right here. One, I'm a better Madden player. Two, he has a lot better team than me. His team is nothing but ultimate legends and golden ticket players for almost like 99% of his players on his team. And I know I have to play a very good and smart game. And on this first drive here, I'm getting quick hiked. I'm not trying to set up. I'm He's just tearing me up on this first drive. And he's uh, quick hiking me and I'm just like, oh goodness, oh goodness. I'm gonna go behind right away. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking about my team. Um, if you notice, I have, I'm starting Redskins base in every position now on defense, except for right end. I still have Bruce Irvin there. Um, I might end up getting rid of him. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, if I get close enough coin range to pick up Ultimate Legend Deion Sanders or Ultimate Legend Sean Taylor, I'm going to. I'm gonna have to trade some of my. Uh, players that aren't Redskins to help make up for the coinage. And I have uh, two Ultimate Legends on my offensive line, and I got another, I don't know, I got some decent linemen that could probably get me around 300, 400 coin area. Plus I still have John Connor. I can get rid of him and just pick up. I can just go full 100% Redskin off and defense. I gotta get in the uh, ability to uh, buy him. And, oh, oh, Deshaun Jackson over the middle! and. Oh, Night Train Lane, Ultimate Legend Night Train Lane runs him down. So, we're doing okay here, and I'm thinking I want to score, because I know I'm getting ball at half here, and I want to score with a lot of, with no time left. And then I realized, oh no. But, in this situation, he hasn't got a chance. Like, his first drive, he, he could run or pass. Now he has to pass. He can run, but he ain't scoring a touchdown. So here we go, we're using Perry Riley over the middle, and I think that's Fernandin, Fernandin makes the catch. Next play, he's in uh, five receivers wide, uh-oh, uh-oh. Shoryuken! Perry Riley with the Sharyuken interception, and we got ball. And right here, I messed up right here. I was going for the makeshift screen of Deshaun Jackson, and I thought he was going to use him. Uh, the guy going after him, he ended up not using him. He went after my tight end. That could have been a nice play. And I just, I didn't want to get sacked, because I wanted to make sure I got my three points. Got my three points. We're going up 10-7 with ball. And we're playing a good game because we know we got to play a great game to, uh, to be able to <laughs> compete against this team. And here we're going Alfred Morris. The thing I love about this Alfred Morris card is that new limited uh, edition. One of you finished the collection. He's like 97 overall. He does not fumble the ball. And I like that about him. And one thing I learned when this Madden came out, even though I loved having Sparkle Jamal Charles on my team, is uh, running backs that can break tackles. Because, like, even if you have a 99 speed, like 99 acceleration, there's a still a high chance you're going to get caught from behind. And I'd rather just have a, a running back that's just going to break the tackles and get more yards than I probably deserve on the play. So we're, we made it a two-score game here, and it's 17-7. Now he needs to score. We're in the fourth quarter. I'm trying to think. I have two people in contains. I have one coming in, and I have one in the spy. And the reason I do the contains is instead of sending more than uh, the one guy, I real I noticed on that first drive he kept uh, rolling to the outside, and that's why I'm just putting the QB contains there. And then here Deacon Jones gets right through. And that's the reason I play this defense that I do. And then here it's uh, run a little off tackle out of strong close. And here we're gonna run it again, trying to. I'm just trying to take up the time now. And here we get to the one yard line, and I should have passed the ball. And because I real, I know who he, I know the type of players he has, and the chances I'm getting a block shed right there are probably pretty high. And there he hits me with the back juke. And then here running a play action, he's he's trying to hit me up deep, and he has the receivers to do it. And oh, that should have been sick. Here we got a second and ten, rolling to the outside. And then there I was using the guy that's supposed to be covering the running back. That's I get beat on that a lot. He's rolling, throwing deep on me. Ooh, we get the deflection. Now we're at second and ten. And oh, I thought Deacon Jones was going to get in there again. And this time he got me beat. I sh 
I don't watch him enough. I watched him play a couple games after this. I didn't realize that he likes to call Hail Marys with his receivers. <laughs> and there we go. We recover the onside kick. All we need is his first down. We got a end of the game. And we get a KO. Thank you for watching everyone, like, subscribe, and uh, maybe I'll catch you playing some Madden Ultimate Team. That was actually, he, he played some pretty good defense on me for the most part, but <laughs> I'll take it. Boyo Diaz bras.